Your Excellencies, the two former Vice Presidents, and other distinguished members of NEC, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Like my colleagues from the other organs, I rise to bring you facilitations and compliments from the Nigerian Governors Forum, the PDP chapter. We in the PDP Governors Forum were united, and of course, we are very thankful and showing gratitude to God and to this very important party, this association that has given us the opportunity to bloom and actualize our various aspirations. The governors of the PDP are united and poised to give support to all the organs so that they can perform their constitutional functions. And that we have decided that at no time we leave the organs of the party feeling despondent or in want. We have been working as seriously to make sure that all the all serious elections have been well funded and of course the working committee is working. And we are solely, solely behind the current leadership of the PDP at the National Working Committee level and the BOT. We really appreciate their performance and we reckon and recognize that especially the BOT will have an array of experience and the specimen who can really liberate on their resources and human capital to take us to the uh, where we want to be as a nation. We also recognize that all eyes are on PDP, especially with the governors, and we are poised to bring peer mechanism, peer review mechanism, so that we will bring good governance, which will be diametrically, diametrically opposed to what is happening in the APC. We want to make sure that we make you proud and bring good governance in all ramifications. And with all humility and modesty, you recognize that my bosses, the governors, are doing very well. And I think they need an applause. <laughs> Having said that, we know we have suffered as a party. Our presidential candidates suffered injustice. And some of the gubernatorial candidates suffered injustice. At so many levels, we have legal infractions. But certainly, it is not for us to bring rancor and division within the party. We recognize there are some gaps in the leadership recruitment and in aspirations outside, the lingering perception, and of course the strategy of our detractors who are lingering and waiting somewhere to see us implode or explode. Definitely, I must appreciate members of caucus and members of the BOT that we have held meeting with and now the next, that we will not give our detractors the opportunity to see what they want, creation of faction and faction. PDP is too much for that. We appreciate the opportunity Nigerians have given us, and we are going to work with modesty and humility, with little resources, to take us to the higher heights that PDP is not for. My colleagues have already explained that during our tenure at the center, we brought all the legacies that you can see, reminiscences of good governance here and there, but this is not there. But it's not just for us to sit down and allow Nigeria wallow in, in hardship and in melancholy. We have to really establish the framework so that we can take them to the next level or the place where they want to be rescued them from hunger, poverty and want. We thank you most sincerely for giving us the opportunity and we cherish we need to enhance communication and remove gaps so that there wouldn't be any sense of mistrust and suspicion between us, which is the want of the day. We believe that with the poise of the National Working Committee and BOT to do that, our elders, the BOT members and other members of NEC will continue to give the support and give the leadership of the party the benefit of doubt 
so that at the end of the day, we will be able to unify the party and move it forward. Thank you very much. I right from the office still as the question is but once again to welcome you and to thank God for joining us. It is with a great sense of responsibility that I on behalf of the Board of Trustees address the 98th National Executive Committee next meeting of our great party, the People's Democratic Party. As custodians of our party's values and principles, it is incumbent upon us to address the crises that have arisen from the recent challenges surrounding the leadership and action the National Working Committee. The widespread public interest in the affairs of our party is a strong pointer to the confidence Nigerians repose in the BDP as their only hope in the face of escalating insecurity, bloodletting, biting economic hardship, infrastructural decay, and pervasive mystery occasioned by the horrible misgovernments of the heavily corrupt and insensitive all progressive all progressive Congress ABC administration spanning nine years. We cannot ignore the fact that our party is facing internal strife where by inactions, disagreements and misunderstandings that threaten to undermine the very foundation upon which the PDP stands. The recent events have brought to light the urgent need for reconciliation, unity, and collective action to steer our party back on course. It is in times like this that the true strength of our party is tested as the highest decision-making body within the PDP. I implore each and every one of us to rise to the occasion and fulfill our responsibility to the millions of Nigerians who look unto us for leadership and guidance. Leaders of our party it is clear that the hope of Nigerians for rescue from this emerging totalitarianism is anchored on a belief in the capacity of our party to lead the charge in defending and protecting our national patrimony at this critical time. Therefore, I am calling upon esteemed members of the National Executive Council to step forward and take on the crucial role of mediators in resolving the crisis that has engulfed our past. It is imperative that we set aside personal differences and work, and work together in the spirit of fraternity and solidarity to find common ground and chart a solid path forward. To further strengthen our party, we must go along the line of the three hours of reconciliation, repositioning, and um, restructuring. We must remember that the PDP is more than just a political organization. It is a movement driven by the aspirations and hopes of the Nigerian people. We owe it to them to demonstrate unity and resolve in the face of adversity. Let us not allow the actions of a few to overshadow 
the collective vision that unites us all. As advocates of democracy, we must uphold the principles of transparency, accountability, and inclusivity in all our endeavors. The process of mediation must be conducted with utmost fairness and impartiality, ensuring that every voice is heard and every perspective is taken into consideration. Our contributions and decisions at this meeting must therefore be guided by the dictates of the constitution of our great party and the vision of our founding fathers and mothers so that we can come out stronger and more united in the, for the task ahead. In conclusion, let us heed the call of history and rise above the challenges that confront us today. Together we can overcome the obstacles that lie in our path and emerge stronger and more united than ever. Leaders in the uh, National Assembly, they are present in minority leader of the Senate and the House and distinguished senators and members of the House. Uh, State Chairman, ex-official, then we just the members of National Let me specifically welcome you to this one important meeting. The first of the time coming after the 2023 general election. As you are all aware, that the last general election came with lots of unexpected challenges that robbed us of victory. These challenges were both internal and external. However, the outcomes of these elections were appropriately challenged by a well-selected legal team in all the election positions that the final court, where the final bodies were delivered. As a law-abiding party, we accepted the body of the final court, but not with many, uh, not without many reservations. All of you are aware of what happened at the court during the uh, litigation period. However, we must also be put on to our negative for the tenacity and for point professionalism while the case last Let me also congratulate our governors, legislators, both at the state and the federal uh, level, who were returned by the various election petitions. That will also report that there have been off-cycle elections that have been concluded. The outcome of the obstacle election in the trial case of Imo Bielsa and Koji have come and gone with our party retaining Bielsa. Preparation is also ongoing in Edo and on governorship election. With the support of all concerned, we are confident that soon we will congratulate ourselves. It is no longer news that Nigeria has suffering under the hard and un unfriendly APC government. The rate of unemployment, poverty, insecurity is so high that most Nigerians go to bed without food in their home. Our farmers can no longer go to farms because of fear of making or making us. Industries are closed down and moving to the neighboring states as a result of unstable power supplies. The enormous power challenges which even come with a cost that is unbearable to add to the hardship 
Unfavorable gamma economic policy has enabled longer and even longer than the We should see this as a challenge so that while we are deliberating today, we will focus on how to really grab these challenges that really face us every day. There's also a need to constitute a reconciliation committee to unite our aggrieved members, especially those that fell out during the last primaries and also election. It is better late than never. We must as an urgent, we must as urgent as possible to position and strengthen the party for effective and constructive opposition, bringing on the table acceptable alternatives of policies and programs in the governance of our dear nation. We must also, as a matter of necessity, bring the concerns of Nigerians to the forefront in the political discourse. We must also understand that Nigerians are in love with our party and they see this party as their common cause. They are anxiously looking up to us to bring soap and relief to their long APC affiliation. They are to the long APC affiliation. I want to conclude that it is expected that the decision and outcome of today's next meeting will strengthen our party and answers to the many questions in the heart of our members, writing our future and further position us for the challenges that is ahead of us. I have no doubt that the only party in this country that has that capacity to look inward, even at time of challenges, is our dear party, the People's Democratic Party. I thank you all for coming to this next meeting. I hope we have fruitful.